It got to the point where I could no longer stand to see people killed and maimed. It was relentless. There was no discrimination with IEDs and landmines. I thought this process would be a short process. It ended up to be a 20-year process of research and development. There was nothing in standard engineering practices that allowed us to do what we're presently doing today. Everything we're doing is outside the box, but we're doing it. We started out, it was 32 hours to develop a picture of exactly what was buried. Now it's three minutes. With the additional funding we're asking for through Indiegogo, we'll be in real time. And real time saves lives. According to UNICEF, there are over 120 million landmines set to go off in the world today. There is approximately 5,000 new ones being set a day. That means that one person is maimed or killed every seven minutes. They do not discriminate. UNICEF estimates that it'll take up to 200 years to rid ourselves of these very evil devices. It's my feeling that we can probably cut this down with our technology by maybe up to 75%. This technology that SSI has brought to the table and I've been lucky to be involved with will totally change the way that we locate, find, dismember these IEDs, whether it's in this current war or other countries. I'm an Army veteran, uh, two-tour combat Iraq vet, uh, wounded warrior who donates a lot of time and effort into organizations that help returning and post-military service members. When I was over there, we didn't have a lot of technology like this, especially to locate certain things that's at different depths and different uh, surfaces. So that got me really excited, you know, anything to prevent the maiming and injuring of, of today's service men and women. I've lost friends um, overseas, family members. I'm very passionate about veterans and um, especially the technology involved to help protect airmen, Marines, Army. The technology that we put together started in the middle 1700s. I've taken technology all through the years and assembled it in bits and pieces. And basically what it is, is another set of eyes. As you look at something, you see shapes, forms, figures. SSI engineering is doing the same thing. As a definition, we're able to turn around and see exactly what's under the ground. We use minimal wattage to do this. We're under one watt of power. The importance of that is, if you have an enemy searching for your signals, they most likely will overlook this. So the cutting edge technology that SSI has developed really affects the frontline individual and really prevents the killing, the maiming of innocent individuals either in a conflict zone or orphanated IEDs, mines that are out there. It reduces the casualty rate. If this technology would have been available when I was over there, to this extent, it would have prevented a lot of casualties. Um, granted, we had more boots on ground at that time, but it doesn't matter if it's one or if it's 100,000 people. Um, this technology will make all the difference. We're really excited about launching this whole product. The website's SSIEngineering.com. People can go there and read more about our, our product, our message, our technology, and where we hope to go in the future. We're really reaching out to the people to help us get this off the ground. Um, again, that's, that's veterans, that's family veterans, that's just people that want to donate to a good cause and, and see what this product can offer. Uh, we're hoping to raise $5.5 .5 million. That's to help us uh, with the digital source code, to get land for uh, testing, and just um, overall improvements to the technology. We want to facilitate this technology to save lives, to bring troops home, and then expand to other markets, uh, whether it's to keep diggers safe from electrical lines, um, anything like that. We just want to keep people safe, and because you don't really know what's underground until, until you start digging, and that's what we hope to prevent and keep people safe. As of today, I've put 2.2 million of my own money into this project. The important part of being funded is we are prepared at this point to go to the next step. We will be able to start putting this out in the field. What this is all about for me is just the safety of today's current and former service members. Saving lives is key. 